good. Crafting. Let's see. Food. Nope. Potions. Eldritch aim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing is pretty good, actually. I'm, uh... I'm a little bit, uh... A little bit stupid about, you know, not... Drinking these, like, on my, on my dude here. What am I doing here? I need three each with three hers, three hers, and yeah. Are we sleeping? Yes, we slept. Uh, no, we... What's going on? Okay. Okay. So, I guess, um... I'm here. This is as good a time as any to, uh, like... Of course. Place... Let's go this way. I don't know. We haven't been this way. Might find interesting things. Or threatening things, of course. Okay, this is the same uh, spot that we uh, entered the area. Okay. Well, I guess it's back to Gilded Vale. Turning the quest. Uh, hmm. Might seem a little bit... Uh, quick to leave, but actually, I'm here. because again, of the difficulty level, uh, I need to sneak it down though, I can just try it. I prefer to turn in the quest, get the XP, get the money for selling stuff, and, you know, whatever. Oh no, that's not here, it's at the, the um, smith uh, here, the Hmm? The black hammer, not the black kid. Uh... Hmm? Hello. Okay. Let's go talk to this seven foot tall dude here, blue dude. Is he blue? Welcome! Oh, time to see. Yeah. Tuan Tanu reaches out to take a crate, raising it effortlessly onto the counter. His fate splits in a broad smile. Why? So you have. This is excellent news. We can finally get back to work and show you real black hammer quality. None of these flimsy little swords. Okay, my phone's ringing. That's not ideal. What can you do? I'll give you a taste. He ducks behind the counter and rises with heavy wooden shield and hat. Might not have had much in the way of materials to work with, but it's still black hammer craftsmanship. You go on and take that. Larder door. Okay. And here, some coin for your troubles, too. His pleased expression dims. Did you find anyone with the wagon? You know, bandits overtook the wagon. He shakes his head, running a hand over his bald pate. Poor fools, always told them they ought to hire some guards instead of palming the extra coin. He sighs. I'll have to hire on more hands. Don't suppose you want to sell in Gilded Vale and try some delivery work? He smiles thinly. You have my thanks for your assistance, friend. Give me some time to work the forge and you'll have your pick of the next run of weapons. Well, there you go. We can get better weapons, maybe. You know, if we had any money, which we, you know, have very Good day to you. Of, but yeah. Oof, yeah. Hmm. Uh, wait. I just want to see what that's like. Huh. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. It's also very expensive. Oh, man. Look at that. Gina's, Gina's lands. Plus one point. Plus one constitution. 20% grazes, pierce damage. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I'll probably find uh, decent weapons anyway. Oh. Okay. It just looks different. Caught my attention. Fine things. Minor deflection. 
Oh, that's nice. That's also almost affordable. <laughs> almost being the keyword here. Um, hmm. Okay, let's sell some of, some of our stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh. I think I want to give that to... Oh. This dude here, maybe. Maybe him. We'll see later. Oh, he uses a quarter staff. And his stuff is pretty nice. Okay, so. Let's sell this thing. This thing we don't need. And from... guess this thing wait 40 for 40 gold yes I'll sell this I'm sorry but I will and then uh, one and you know these are cute but they're so expensive I mean 63 copper I have 300 500 now but you know these things this copper stuff vanishes pretty yes? quick, if you ask me. So, uh, yeah, that's all I'll have for now. Uh, how close are we to level up? Because I want to finish that quest in the... Oh, so close. Yeah, she just did get level 3. She needed it, too. I'm here. Um, hmm. Let's see what quests we have, because... Right now... Well... What's going on? Hold, sir, but a moment. Kolsk. Kolsk. I've seen that name before. The hooded man waits upon the road. Clan in Greek cloak. He strides forward to meet you as you approach, and at closer distance his features are revealed for those of a young man, though lined with weariness. He appears to be favoring his left leg as he walks. There is a dark stain upon the fabric of his trousers under him. Even so, he greets you with a polite bow. I imagine Tuatanu was very grateful for the return of his supplies. He is a good smith. A good man at that. Beholden to a cruel master, but a good man. Yet the Vale is full of such people. People who deserve better than to watch their home descend into fear and madness. He turns to look out over the village. I aim to save them, and I would ask your help in doing so. Oh, who are you? Only a man determined to see Gilded Vale restore, restored to its former glory. There was a time, stranger, when Gilded Vale was worthy of its name. The wheat shone like gold on the hills and the villages people lived well. I don't know about the golden crops, but there were less flies anyway. <laughs> and what has become of it now? Whatever has caused the blind upon our lands, it was not the fault of its people. Redrick looks to punish us for crimes we have not committed, and he, in turn, he is blind to his own. I am not, and he will pay for you for what he has done. I, Kolsk, swear by the flame. Oh, like many tyrants, he has surrounded himself with strong men and women for fear of retribution. He, the man, smiles thinly, and so you are warned. If you would press on, despite that, however, I wonder if we might not help one another. It depends. I do not help others out of charity. Yeah, it's true. I mean, at this difficulty level, you know, I might play like super good, goody, -do sh goody two shoes, like, oh no, I don't need your money. But now I do, you know. I see his tone belies some disappointment. Well, if I cannot appeal to your sense of justice, perhaps your practical nature will suffice. For the task I ask of you would improve all our fortunes. Too long has Gilded Vale suffered under Radrick's madness. He would cure Wadewin, Wadewin's legacy by ensuring there are none alive in the village to be afflicted. I fear his own wife, Ygrid, may be at risk. The man has no mercy in him. <coughs> well, that doesn't sound too nice. We have not stood idle. My people and I breached the defenses, intent on ending Radrick's rule ourselves. We entered through the sewers under the cover of night, under cover of night, but we were routed and rooted. His face darkens. There are dark creatures down there in the dungeons. The work of Radrick's animator. Ooh, I like creatures. It's fun to fight them. It falls to you. 
Lord Raedric has called for further reinforcements, and soon there will be no stopping him. Our time grows short, and in this hour I must beg assistance where I can. He's going to owe us more than some rubble-strewn plot of land after this. Find him, fling him from the ramparts, or else cut his head from his shoulders. I care not. Once his throne lies empty, Gilded Vale will have the stewardship that it deserves. You know, after seeing that tree there, I want to side with this dude. This, that, 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 that dude who did this tree thing there, uh, I don't like him. Whatever your reason, I can promise you that your aid will not go unrewarded. Lord Rydrick has amassed the spoils of a long reign. End it, and you may take your fill. Then I commend you on your courage, and thank you for your assistance, but I would not send you on war without due warning. Radric's hold is crawling with soldiers and soul swords. Ah, awesome. All loyal to Radric. They will not take kindly to intruders. In truth, they will be all the more alert for our failed efforts. Well, yeah, a frontal assault would be unwise. If you would brave him, you could follow our steps and seek out the entrance to the sewers in the eastern edge of the moat. He looks away, but several of my men were captured. It may be the entrance has been found and sealed anew. Those men were under my command. I would be in your debt if you found some means of helping them. Jeez, so much debt, huh? Why don't you make it inside? Seek out my old friend, Nedmar. He's the high priest, Berethian. Now that the shining god has fallen. A good man in difficult circumstances. He will listen to reason. Durance chortles, nearly choking on his own disdain. Shining god. He never shone so brightly as when the bomb took him. The moniker is obsolete now. Ash does not shine. It's like if someone was to call you the attractive priest, Durance. Oh, the burn! Durance? You burn. Oh, he's burnt already, yeah. Nenmar can help you reach Raedric, but he resides in the upper level of Raedric's hold. Protected by guards and mercenaries, you will have to keep to the shadows if you need to reach him without alarming the entire keep. Thank you for the advice. I'll make good use of it. Yeah. I consider it a blessing from the gods that I have found someone to understand its honor and duty. Radric's hold lies east past the eastern wood, not far to the east. Lies past the east, eastern wood, not far to the east. Huh. May Magrin bring you victory, friend. I wish you luck. Magrin. Well. Oh. Okay. Well, what do you know? I'm here. You are. So, uh, we got a quest here. Uh, let's see. Uh, huh? Where are we headed? Hmm. Right. Okay, no, uh, I got that first. I don't know in which order I want to do them. Maybe I want to do this first, and then... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think I want to do this first. It might seem like... Ranga, uh, I'm going to wife... Uh, Anslog's compass to the south, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. This. I don't, why? Because I got it first. Just because of that might be of an easier difficulty level. And, uh, you know. Magrin's Fork, and then we're gonna go down south. I don't think we've explored all of Magrin's Fork, so... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's the place with the wolves, and oh, who knows what else, huh? Oh yeah, okay, we go here. I guess that's the idea here. Let's quick save. And yeah, let's go.